New data out today shows that violent crime in the city of Dallas is going down, and that's in contrast to a lot of large cities where it continues to rise. Andre Lucia over at Dallas City Hall, where council members today were briefed on what's happening. So kind of walk us through in a general sense, first off, what did they hear today? Yeah, murderies, uh, sorry, murders, robberies, aggravated assault, they're all down. Combined violent crime has fallen uh, almost 8.5% compared to this time last year. And back in May, that was not the case. In fact, we were on track to have the highest number of murders in the last 25 years. The then brand new Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia enacted a violent crime reduction plan at that point. It's based on the theory that crime is concentrated in small areas throughout the city. The department's worked with criminologists at UT San Antonio to identify some of those areas and to figure out ways to address the issues there. The city reports the growth in crime hasn't just slowed, it has reversed. We've now had 28 fewer murder victims than we did this time last year. It's a big deal. Um what's happening here in Dallas versus what's going on across the country. We're showing even less officers than we had in 2019 or 2020, and I know it's from attrition, but to have these kind of results, really, it's not just in the data. I think we're starting to feel it in the city, and so I just want to say thank you. I know, I know it's been rough. And yeah, next up, the department says it'll be uh, incorporating some methods that may take longer to show their results. They'll be doing PNIs, place network investigations that really look at the root problems here. Uh, they'll be aiming to dismantle some of the criminal networks uh, that operate out of these specific locations. Doug? A couple questions here. So Chief Garcia had also said he had a request of city council. What was that? Yeah, Chief Garcia wants to see the city limit the hours of op operation for sexually oriented businesses. We're talking about strip clubs. We're talking about uh, adult video stores. They have been linked to an increase in crime in their neighborhoods. And uh, he'd like the city uh, to have them close between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. when calls for service generally go up. He says that will also help reduce the crime rate here in Dallas. And another big issue the department we know have been struggling with, uh, the shortage of 911 call takers. We've reported on it a whole lot. Uh, they were expecting that is council an update on that today did that happen yeah absolutely let me see if I can quickly pull up the numbers here uh, big improvement the city raised salaries as we reported earlier and it now has hundred and seventeen call takers that is believe it or not 41 more than it had this time last year. It expects by the end of January to have another 10 added on, uh, and it's going to keep hiring from there. But overall, big improvement, and you know why it matters to you and me? The calls are getting answered more quickly. That's right. That's right. Numbers heading in the right direction. Andrea, thank you very much for taking everybody inside. CBS 11 News at 5 o'clock continues.